What's up guys, Mike here from The Art of Guitar here with my second video of the day. I had everything set up and I figured I would uh, tell you about a story about my worst guitar lesson that I ever had. Uh, I was teaching for, you know, I've been teaching now for over 25 years and one lesson comes to mind. I had a student ask me what my worst lesson was ever. And uh, it was this one student who at the time, he was probably about 15 years old, and he came in and he was kind of in a weird place in his life, you know, he seemed a little bit depressed and down. But every time he came to lessons, he seemed to sort of get, get excited, and I thought we were making good progress. Uh, but it, it was apparent to me that he wasn't practicing very much. He was into skateboarding and a whole bunch of other stuff, who knows what other stuff. But uh, anyways, uh, so all of a sudden, halfway through our lesson, he just sort of looked down and he got really sad and I was like, what's going on? And the, his sadness changed into like an angry look. His face started turning a little bit red. And he said, well, I was just thinking about it. You could tell he was caught up in his thoughts. He's like, how much money are my parents paying you every month for you to teach me guitar? And then uh, he said, and I'm still not that good. And it was just kind of funny because I, you know, in the back of my head, I was like, okay, what do you want me to say? You know, like what do you want me to do about it? And he was like getting more and more angry. It was really strange. And he was like, I've been taking lessons now for all these months and I should be way better. And I just think we're wasting all our money on p paying you to teach me guitar. And so I was just like, okay, well, if you feel that way, I don't know what to do, you know? And he's like, well, I think I might be quitting pretty soon. And so I was like, okay, whatever. And he cut the lesson short and left. And I just sort of sat there and I had this pit in my stomach. And as he left, I just sat there because there was 10 minutes left in the lesson. And I was just like, it felt like someone, you know, kicked me in the stomach, slapped me in the face and walked out the door. It was really strange. And so for the next week, I did so much soul searching. You know, I kept thinking, you know, are my methods bad? What am I doing wrong? Am I not encouraging him to practice enough or what? And so eventually he ended up quitting. So anyways, uh... So that really rattled me as a teacher, and uh, it, it took about a few weeks for me to shake that feeling off completely. Every time I taught a lesson, I felt like, you know, am I doing this right? Am I just messing these kids up? What's going on? You know, so fi filled me full of a lot of self-doubt. But the funny thing is, is a bunch of years went by. I think about three or four years went by. And all of a sudden, I get contacted by the student, and he actually apologized to me. And he's like, you know what? I was in a bad place back then and I wasn't practicing guitar and I needed somebody to blame and instead of blaming myself, I blamed you and I put all that bad feeling on you. And so it was kind of cool that he contacted me and actually apologized for it, but part of me was like, yeah, but that doesn't take back all that pain that I felt, you know, and all that self-doubt when the whole time it wasn't me at all. It was his own bad feelings about himself not practicing, uh, and that's why he wasn't getting better, obviously. But he shifted that blame to his teacher, which is kind of a common thing. I hear a lot of students say that to their school teachers. They're always like, oh, I'm not doing well in this class because my teacher sucks or whatever. And I know that is true sometimes, but sometimes I wonder how much of it is actually the student, how much is the teacher. So I thought that'd be kind of a funny story to hear because uh, if you're a teacher and you're teaching somebody and some of your students are getting really good, other ones aren't getting that good, you can't take on that burden yourself completely. You know, like I used to really feel bad when a student would come in and say they didn't practice. Uh, and there just came a point, it was shortly after all this stuff happened, where I just let all that feeling go. I just, I was just like, if you practice, great. If you don't, great, it's up to you. You know, I encourage you to practice. Uh, if you really wanna get far with guitar, obviously you have to put in the work, but if you don't, not my problem. And I just let that go and it was the biggest relief ever. And after that, I was able to really teach without any fear and it felt really good. And I felt like my students picked up on that. You know, they didn't feel like I was pressuring them all the time to practice because, hey, if they didn't practice, it's on them. And it sort of put the responsibility on their shoulders and uh, I saw a difference over time. So that was kind of cool. So I thought that'd be interesting for you guys to hear about the time where a student really, you know, 
laid it on me and almost caused me to want to quit teaching guitar. So that was kind of an interesting lesson, but uh, I think we both learned a lot from it. Uh, him, it took a few years, and for me, I had to overcome a lot of self-doubt. And by the time I was good, you know, he ended up apologizing anyway and telling me that it was actually his fault. So <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could say I grew from the whole experience as well. All right, guys, thought you'd like to hear that, and I'll uh, catch you at the next lesson. Okay, bye.